oftentimes it's not tested for um, when people, let's say they go to the doctor or what we commonly hear from, if people go to a neurologist, they'll, the way we test for it is it's a very simple tuning fork. And there's a reason for that. So basically the same neurological pathway that gives us a sense of proprioception is the same neurological pathway that tells us about vibration. So we can very accurately use a very simple tuning fork to test someone's proprioception. And, you know, you can use, you know, an you know, EMG study and all these different things, which is very expensive and time consuming and everything else. Or you can take five minutes and use a tuning fork and do it. Um, so one of the reasons it's probably undiagnosed is because, well, if we have to send them in for a large EMG study that costs a ton um, and takes a ton of time, well, you're not going to test for that if it's not the main thing that you're looking for. But if you take a simple tuning fork, you can take five minutes. Now, what we hear from our clients is they'll go to the neurologist and then they'll come and see us and they'll say, oh yeah, my neurologist you know, did that too. They put a tuning fork on, on my leg. And I'll, I'll often ask them, did they tell you? what they found or what it meant. And the answer is almost always no. Um, and so I don't know exactly what's going on with all the other testing. So it can be that they test for it, but then it's not included as part of what's going on as far as education to, to the patient or the client. Um, it could be that they're just testing to see if they can feel it overall. And then once that, if the person can feel it, then that's enough, which is not the complete test. Um, and so it can be a combination of all those things. So basically when people go to uh, the neurologist or their doctor or, or physical therapy, they're, they're not getting the full complete test or they're not getting told about what it means or how it mean what it means to their life. And it's very rarely do we find someone who has been tested before. We're usually the first. That's yeah. It's um, so basically you uh, put a tuning fork um, on, on someone's, um, ankle bone. And basically the question is, can you feel it first? And then after that, it's let me know when the tuning fork stops and then how accurate the person can tell you when the tuning fork stops, give you a good, gives you a good idea of how their proprioception is. And so basically it's, um, you can feel the tuning fork in your hand. If you're doing the test, if that is, if that is very different from what the person's telling you, then you know that there's a proprioception problem. Wow. Easy, inexpensive. Um, the crazy part, you know, vestibular rehab and uh, balance uh, rehabilitation, all these different things, they don't take much equipment. Um, it's a tuning fork, it's blood pressure cuffs, it's a pen, it's, you know, these sorts of things. And a lot of expertise. And a lot of expertise. It's, it's the skill uh, that's there. It's the, it's the process of diagnosing properly. Um, that's the most important part of it. It's not fancy as... Uh, medical tests that get you there. It, and I think that's one of the problems with, uh, with the vestibular system or the vestibular specialty overall. Yes, you can do all those very expensive things. Uh, there's plenty of equipment that you can use, but you don't have to, it can be done very well without much equipment at all. Um, and so same, going back to the proprioception problem, simple tuning fork, the evidence supports that it's uh, as accurate as a, an, an expensive EMG study. And um, it's very simple and quick and easy to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Now it doesn't, it's not that it doesn't take a bit of time. Um, so if you're, if you're going and see a, a physician and you're in there for, for five to 10 minutes or 15 minutes, even as is often the case, you know, there's so much that the physician needs to tackle that this, that, that proprioception oftentimes is just a small piece of what's going on. Because if they're seeing a neurologist, um, oftentimes there's a lot more going on than just that. And so they're looking at a whole host of things and the way that that insurance and Medicare is today, there's less time for the physician to be, uh, to be with the, with their patient. And so then all these little details that they would get to otherwise, uh, they kind of have to skip over. Uh, oftentimes, and, and I hear this from, from, uh, physicians, from nurse practitioners, from physician assistants all the time. It's okay. What can you tackle in the short amount of time that, that the person's in front of you? It's the, it's the medication list. It's, it's all these other things that need to be addressed when they go into their internal medicine doctor or their neurologist or, uh, ear, nose and throat doctor. There's all these other things that they got to do. And that goes to the problem of the healthcare system overall. If we're spending less time, uh, 
with the patient, then we're missing out on some of these details that we would ordinarily test. And, and what we do know, no matter what's going on is by the time people get to us, this, this is not being tested for, or if it is the, uh, they're not getting the edu- the, the patient, the client's not getting the education on it. Um, or it's not being tested, uh, completely.